Oh, hello. Today we're going to learn how to create the speed ramp effect strip in Blender's video sequence editor. That's when you take something and you either speed it up, or whatever you choose. Pretty, pretty easy effect, pretty cool effect. All we need is a nice fun video to apply the effect to, so let's do that now. Okay, so here we are inside of Blender version 3.1.0, and I have my footage loaded up. Let's play it right now just to see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so relatively short. What we're going to do is we're going to slow down the part just as I'm slipping on that banana peel. Okay, now how to do it is with the speed control effects strip and setting keyframes at various points and then just playing around with that and synchronizing it to the audio. So let's get started by making sure we have our video strip selected and then we go to the add menu effect strip speed control okay so here we have our speed control effect strip and what we need to do is go up to the top here and under the properties and change it from saying stretch as the speed control to multiply all right so now what it's showing is a value of 1.0, meaning that right now it's not changing the speed at all. It's going at full 100%. Okay, so we have our speed control in place. Next, what we need to do is find the spot in the video where we want it to start slowing down or you know, speeding up, but in this case, slowing down. So I'm just going to scrub through and what I want is right about here, right as I'm about to step on that banana peel. So what we can do now that we have our frame identified is we go over here and you can either click on this little button to animate it or you can hover over the value 1.0 and press the I key. So right now I'm going to press the I key. We've set our keyframe. So now this has turned into a yellow. That circle has changed into a diamond shape. Now we need to make a decision. How long is it going to take until we've slowed down to our final speed? For this video, uh, I want it to take a full second. You can see in the properties that the video has a frame rate of 30 frames per second. So that means I need to go ahead 30 frames and then change the speed and set another keyframe. So down over here, you can see we are right now at frame 71. So I could do the mental math and say 71 plus 30 is 101, or I could let Blender do it for me, just say plus 30, press enter, and that's where we need to set our next keyframe. So now that we are at our second point, the decision now is, well, how slow do I want it to be? For this one, I'm going to set it to a quarter speed, so 25%. So here I'm going to click in this field and type in 0 0.25, press enter. You can see now we have a orange color instead of the, the yellow. That means that we've made a change, but we have to set it as a keyframe for it to take. So I could just press the I key again while hovering over this field or this time I will just click on that diamond shape and that does the same thing. All right, so now let's back it up. It was about frame 70. Let's just hit the play button to make sure that it looks okay. And, and before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and just mute the audio. So I'm gonna select the audio and you can either press the H key to mute or you can click on this checkbox over here so that we don't have to keep hearing me say anything. Okay, so here we go. Hit the play button. Okay, so right away we can see nothing appeared to happen. Uh, that that does uh, happen a lot inside of Blender. What we have to do is just hit the refresh. There used to be a button around here to do that. Uh, I don't know where the button is anymore, but I do know that the shortcut for that, the keyboard hotkey is Control R. So I'll just go ahead and press Control R on my keyboard now. 
and you can see uh, that it has changed. So let me jump back over to about frame 70 and I'll hit the play button again. And there you go. That was it. So that was it slowing, slowly going down. In fact, what we can do is I can use the arrow keys to uh, when I have the speed control effect strip selected, I'll push the down arrow key a few times. And then if I just use my right arrow key to kind of scrub through, you can see over here that the value of the speed control is going down over time. So uh, until, you know, from start point until 30 frames in, it's getting slower and slower and slower until we hit our 0.25 and then it just stays at that speed for the rest of the scene. Now, the only thing we need to do is decide how long do we want to keep it there and then for this demo, I'll just bring it back up to the full speed um, after that point. So let's see here, probably I'm okay with it going back to regular speed right here. So to do that, I'm going to press I here just to set another keyframe. Now I will press the right arrow key just to go one frame over, so frame 134. And now I will click into here and press one, press enter, and then set this keyframe. So now we have the full set of keyframes. So I'm going to go into this uh, file browser editor and change it. And I select graph editor so you can see it visually. Now let me shift these around a bit. And I'll hit the home key while the mouse is over here and you can see it now in the graph. So this is where we had started, right? That's about frame 71. And you can see this, this line represents the speed. So we're slowly letting it go down until we hit the 25% speed and it stays there for a bit. And then it right away goes back, back up to 100%. Okay, let's see the whole thing in action. And before anything else, I'll just hit Control R right now to make sure it has been loaded properly. Hit the play button. Okay, there we go. Now, the next thing is how can we get this to sync up to the audio? Because if I put the audio back on, so I can hit that check mark, the shortcut key would be Alt H. But anyway, let me hit the play button now and we can hear it what's going on. Okay, so obviously we haven't touched the audio. It hasn't changed at all. But the good news is using this approach, it's very easy to synchronize the playback speed of the video with the playback of the audio, as long as you're okay with the sound kind of dropping down or speeding up. So it'll sound like a rumble or you're sounding like Alvin and the Chipmunks, one or the other. But if you're okay with that, then here, this is how you do it. We're going to start just with the audio strip selected. Go over to the pitch and set a keyframe, right? Just by pressing the I key. So now we have a keyframe there. What we're going to do is we are going to copy keyframes from the speed control over to the audio. All right. So now before we do any, before we do the copy, use your down arrow key just to jump to that first keyframe. Now all of the keyframes are currently selected. You can tell because they all have this coloring. If they're not, you can draw a box around them with the B key or just press the A key to select everything. And then we just copy. So you can do it from the key menu, go to key and then go to copy keyframes. The shortcut there is control C. Now that we have everything copied, go ahead and select the audio strip. Now go back to the graph editor and paste. So we could press control V or go to the key menu and paste keyframes. And there they are. So now if I just jump between these two strips, you can see they're exactly the same. It's going to be perfectly synchronized. I'll just go ahead and press the control R again to just to make sure it's refreshed nicely. Jump back to the beginning and hit the play. Okay, and there you have it. How you can easily create a speed ramp effect in Blender, uh, in the visual sequence editor, 
uh, and combined with the graph editor. Just a few steps and you're in business. So hope you did like that. If you did, please do give that a thumbs up and uh, subscribe so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now. You're going to eat me a banana. Bananas. We haven't done bananas, have we? No. no. All right. You're still recording, right? Mm-hmm. My bum is getting so cold. <laughs>